Boy, it's been a while since we talked And my head's getting nervous I can't handle this on and off I can't Hey, family. We're out at Five Star Manufacture Homes in Bowden, Georgia. And today we're gonna be touring this fabulous home. It's the Cabco 974. And it's absolutely beautiful. This is the Cabco 97, might be 975, I may be saying it wrong. But we're gonna go in and take a look. Let's go take a look. So this home isn't put together or furnished yet. But it's a beautiful home and I wanted to show you what it looked like. So when you walk in, this is what you see. Got a beautiful archway here. Let's close the door. So you have a beautiful archway here. And then we'll scan the room. Nice fireplace two tall windows on either side of the fireplace and then to the right is the kitchen so Beautiful fireplace. I'll come on this side so you can take a look at the room from this angle. So that's the front door when we came in. Now off the front door, you have Looks like what should be a walk-in closet. Real nice space in your walk-in. So you've got room for storage and for hanging coats. All right. And then you've also got your dining room. Love the arch in this dining room. Nice and cozy right off the front door. Tall window in here. I would change the lighting and put just put a chandelier in here since it's the dining room. But certainly a nice cozy space for a formal dining room. All right, we'll pan the room one more time. Love the brickwork on the fireplace. Love that you've got the mantle on the top and you've got the can light in the ceiling. Now to the right of the front door is the kitchen. You also got and you know, that space over there, now that I'm looking at it, could either be a formal dining room or it could be a nice little cubby for, uh, for an office. It's really up to you what you choose to do with it. If it was my home, it'd probably be my office, my home office. In the kitchen here, you also have dining room space and there, there's a chandelier there. Um, two large windows. Love the floors. Never toured these cab codes before. Beautiful, beautiful home. Really nice, space, spacious kitchen. Beautiful. Antique white. 
cabinets. You've got a large area over here for storage and also beverage station or uh, appliances, whatever you like. Nice island in the middle with storage space. Love the huge refrigerator and freezer. Huge, huge. Nice for a, a big family. You've got more store space over here. Now, this, the cabinets go all the way to the ceiling, which is a nice touch. Lots of can lighting in here. Um, the stove is uh, a flat top or ceramic top, and you've got a built-in microwave uh, above it. You also have the glass cabinets on this side, so you can put some pretty dishes in there. But I love the fact that the stove area is in this little cubby hole with the brick accents. That is so, so, so pretty. Look at all the cabinet space in here. Large picture window over your double sinks. All stainless steel appliances. You've got two stoves in here. All oh, the cabinet space is amazing, you guys. I'm going to stand back and just scan the whole room. Now, I'm standing in the dining room. And that's the master bedroom through that door. We'll look at that in a sec. But just look at all the cabinet space in this kitchen. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Great. So I love this kitchen. It kind of gives you an open feel, but it's, it's also separated. So you can see toward the front door, not all the way into the living room, but it's okay because you've got this beautiful archway that leads into the kitchen. Um, so if you're in the living room, you still have access to the people in the kitchen. Also gives it more of the stick built home feel. If this home was put together, the trim would go all the way around. So, so, so pretty, very nice. So that's the kitchen. Again, this is the front door. And so from the front door, the kitchen is to the right straight ahead to the living room. And then it's really up to you what you use this space for, be it a formal dining room, a sitting area, an office, a kid's playroom, it's up to you. Now, from the front door, we're gonna go down this hall and take a look at the rooms on this side. All right, to the right here is your utility room. You've got three cabinets above the washer and dryer. Lots of space in here. See, I'm just learning how to use this gimbal. Okay, lots of space in here. Here's the, the uh, back door. So you got a, a back door there. Your washer and dryer goes here. And then you've got the three cabinets up ahead. Love it. Across from the utility room, you've got bedroom, guest bedroom number one. Don't mind the doors, they haven't been put in yet. Two large windows in the guest bedroom. I'll come in and turn around so you can see the whole room. So this is the guest bedroom. Nice space in this guest bedroom. Let's take a look at the closet. All right, so you got your closet there. And then once again, your guest bedroom there. Awesome. Over here, you've got your guest bath. Lots of storage space in here for like a linen closet, towels, uh, sheets, personal items. You've got a double sink 
in this bathroom, huge, huge mirror. Lighting goes right there, so you have extra lighting. You've got a lot of space in this bathroom. You could put shelving in here if you like. It's really up to you. And then you got your tub shower combo with a transom window. Really nice. All right, you got two more guest bedrooms at the end of the hall. Guest bedroom number two is right here. Two, again, two large windows in this room. Always nice to have so many windows. You've got a walk-in closet in this bedroom. Love it when they bring the shelving all the way around. And we'll give this room one more scan. So that's guest bedroom number two. And then directly across from guest bedroom number two is guest bedroom number three. Love all the windows in here, you guys. So, so, so nice to have all the windows. And then there is your closet. Perfect. So three bedrooms, two baths in this home. Third guest bedroom. Down this long hall. Let's go and check out the master bedroom. The master bedroom is off the kitchen dining room. So from the kitchen and dining room, your master bedroom is here. Beautiful. So you got a nice, large master bedroom. Two windows in here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You've got French doors that lead to your master bath. Ooh, big and open. Lots of space to the left. This first door is your toilet room. It has a door that closes. Really nice. Across from the toilet door is a huge shower. Love all the glass in the shower. This shower is extra big, y'all. This shower is huge, 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 huge. You've got the rain shower, shower head. You've got a handheld shower head here. You got the built-in soap tray. Love the bronze features. Now this handle controls the handheld. Your bench is there so you can sit there and get all your parts that need to be rinsed off. And then for the rain shower, shower head, you've got your light, your um, handle there. Look how huge. That's the bench. So this is how huge this shower is. So nice. You've got two lights in there, so plenty of lights while you're in the shower. If you're techie, you can change those lights to be colored. Love it. Now, you also have a makeup table there, space for a drawer. You've got a drawer on the top, cabinet on the bottom, so lots of space and lighting. Next to it is a huge soaker tub with a stained glass uh, window, love the columns on either side, and then your two sinks are there with another mirror. Lots of storage space in this house, lots and lots of storage space. So let's see if we can scan the room. Your toilet 
Room is there. Makeup table. Wonderful. All right, so we haven't seen the master closet and you guys are in for a treat. Around this corner is a separate room. It is the master closet. Really nice master closet. His and her, you've got space on either side for his and hers. You've got space for shoes, purses. You've got a big window in here. Beautiful, 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 beautiful master Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Large LED light goes in here, so you've got lots of lighting and lots of space. And I know sometimes we say we don't like the closet in the master, but this is really its own space, and it's absolutely wonderful. So adequate. My husband and I could absolutely share this closet with no problem. Beautiful. So we've seen this whole house. Let's go see how much this house costs. All right. So again, this is the Cab Co. I'm going to get the name here so I can make sure I put all the right info. This is a Cab Co. It's unit number 975. It's KB3220 if you want to look it up. It's a 32 by 80. This home is priced at 131,000. The base price includes delivery setup materials, uh, setup materials, setup blocking and tie down. It also includes central heat and air, concrete block underpinning and the concrete footers. So awesome, 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 awesome. There are all your prices there. This is a beautiful, beautiful home. If I have any decor picks, with the house set up, I'll be sure to post them. All the information to uh, Five Star Manufacturer is gonna be in the description box along with their um, Facebook information so you can go online and see the other houses that they have. I am touring all of their houses today. So stay tuned, we got some great videos coming, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching the Mobile Home Deal. Boy, it's been a while since we talked And my head's getting nervous I can't handle this on and off I can't know I just gotta know where you are If I want to remain sane But you're ghosting every text and call Oh no You could be running off with somebody else Tell me what's the hold up, baby